Welcome back everyone, this is Chad with IROC Veteran 8888. Today we have another silencer review for you. We're going to be discussing the brand new Huxworks HXQD762 with the brand new integrated flash cap. Uh, if this suppressor looks familiar to you and you say, that looks just like an OSS, well, Huxworks is a brand new subsidiary of OSS suppressors. So Huxworks Safety Company is a human exposure workshop dedicated to building firearms accessories that are optimized for the safety and health of their customers without compromising efficiency or performance. So that is their mission statement. And I can't think of a better statement regarding some of the best no back pressure suppressors on the market. Uh, we've shown these OSS uh, helixes over the years and uh, they do not disappoint in the performance realm at all. So the original concept of the 762 helix was brought around by some military contracts for a brand new CSAS and squad designated marksman rifle. This particular suppressor is 19.4 ounces in weight, 7.45 inches in length, and 1.62 inches in diameter. It's constructed of stainless steel and titanium. It's rated from 5.56 all the way up to 300 Win Mag, and it is full auto rated on 7.62. The new integrated flash cap greatly reduces first round flash signature from the host weapon and virtually eliminates flash from subsequent shots. The Helix series of suppressors do use proprietary muzzle devices. These flash hiders and muzzle brakes are available in most common thread pitches. However, the suppressor itself mounts in a reverse pattern. As you fire rounds with a right hand twist barrel, the suppressor will subsequently self tighten on the mount, which virtually eliminates any risk of the suppressor coming off of the mount like traditional systems. One of the main things that sets the Huxworks line of suppressors apart from the rest of the crowd is the baffle design itself. We've shown in previous videos how the turbine-like uh, baffle design really mitigates that back pressure in semi-auto platforms. Uh, we've compared it to other cans that are on the market, and there's absolutely no question as far as the advertised performance of these suppressors. Now, the whole idea behind Huxwork Safety Company and integrating this line of suppressors into the fold is that in mitigating the back pressure, you keep all those toxic gases out of the shooter's face. On a common baffled suppressor, you're gonna get all those deposits back into the action for one thing, so it's gonna dirty the gun up faster, it's gonna increase your uh, cleaning cycles, but also you're gonna be exposed to all that uh, lead and all the deposits from the gunpowder and such as that right back in your face. We did test the HXQD762 on a variety of different hosts. Uh, we did shoot it on our Remington 700 and we performed a point of impact shift test. Now we noticed uh, just under a two MOA shift uh, low at 100 yards with no degradation of accuracy potential of that particular rifle. And we also shot it on our DI 16 inch uh, LR308. Now this is uh, similar to the platform that uh, this particular can is designed for. And we were seeing numbers that were a little bit higher than advertised, but that's just our particular situation with our particular rifle and the ammunition that we were running in our environmentals. As I've mentioned before, uh, when metering suppressors, the environmentals play a big factor in what the actual results are gonna be. Uh, we usually focus on the net sound reduction in our testing, um, but you know, other people's mileage may vary. This is just one example with the meter that we currently use, which is the BNK 2209. Now on the subcaliber host, we did shoot uh, three different 5.56 rifles. One of them is a bare bone stock 16 inch carbine with a carbine length gas system. Now it has a full size port, which is basically what many off the shelf rifles are gonna have. So typically these are not gonna be fine tuned uh, to have the minimal amount of gas cycle in the system. So they are gonna be quite loud at the ear. Uh, the reason I use this rifle is to compare to the superlative arms piston setup that I have that's basically an identi identical setup except for the piston operation. And it's finely tuned for uh, perfect operation, unsuppressed. So by adding the suppressor on there, it does not change anything about the configuration whatsoever. We also shot it on an 11 and a half inch piston as well as our 300 blackout. And the rifle that surprised me the most was actually our DDI AK-47 in 7.62 by 39.
All right, guys, that's been the HXQD762 with the new flash cap from Huxworks. Very impressive on the AK, very impressive on the 11 and a half inch 5.56 with the piston setup. I mean, not hearing safe in our test, but uh, just how well it performed compared to a 16 inch carbine. Throw a little bit more gas at this thing, a little bit more pressure, and it really does peak the performance, it seems. I do want to thank OSS Huxworks for getting this can in our hands early on so we could do a demonstration for you guys. And also I want to thank all of our Patreon supporters. Uh, you guys rock, you guys really do keep us going here on the channel. And also if you want to support what we do, you can go over to Ballistic Inc and pick yourself up a snazzy t-shirt. Or given that it's freezing cold out here right now in Georgia, you might want to pick yourself up a hoodie. A hoodie would be good right about now. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we have many more suppressor reviews on the way, as well as other content on the channel. Take care.